Five's Paul Stino live now in Fond du Lac where a vigil was held this afternoon. Paul. Hi, Tom and Michelle. Yeah, the Marion University community gathered at this beautiful chapel that I'm standing in right now in order to have a vigil in order to honor Joanna Schultz this afternoon. Now, friends, classmates, as well as some of her professors had an opportunity to share some of their memories of Schultz after a few opening prayers to begin the vigil. Her friends say she was always smiling and that a conversation with her could brighten up your day. They describe her personality as warm and bubbly and that she was a person everyone wanted to be around. Her professors describe her as a planner who had a clear vision of what she wanted to achieve in life and that she brought real world experience to the classroom as an owner of a jewelry business. Her death has hit the Marion University community hard. To come back to class today and it just felt like there was an immense hole there. It was, uh, it was a really difficult morning for the class, and I think, you know, even just being able to concentrate with that void in the classroom was really difficult. Now, there has been a GoFundMe, a GoFundMe fundraiser that has been set up for Joanna's family to help cover some of the funeral costs. Uh, we have a link to that on our website, wearegreenbay.com. For now, though, live from Fond du Lac, Paul Stino, Local 5 News.